fucking trigger. Oh, the trigger. Ain't nobody gonna do for you. I can already tell I'm gonna get pit stains in this fucking shirt. Hey tribe, what's up? Today's video is going to be a all about my tattoos and piercings video. I asked you guys in the comments below what kind of video you would like to see from me. A little boy hitting puberty. I asked you guys what kind of video you'd like to see from me and you said that you guys really really wanted to see an all about my tattoos and piercings video. So here we are. Once again, hello to all my brand new Good Vibe Tribers. I have gotten so many new subscribers lately and it makes me so 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 happy because I just want to grow my family to be even bigger. So welcome to the Good Vibes Tribe. If you're new here and you haven't subscribed already, click that button. It only takes a second to join the Good Vibes Tribe because we're a pretty awesome family. All right, I don't even know where to begin, honestly. Um, shit. All right, so I guess I'll just start out with the piercings that I got first. I'll go on the chronological order. So the first piercings I got were um, my first holes in my ears. And I'm going to put some like zoom in like special clips of my piercings and tattoos inserted somewhere in this video somewhere <laughs> I'm movie editing magic <laughs> but the first ones I got I got when I was about I want to say 12 no 10 and then I let them close up and then I got them again at 12 yeah so I got my ears pierced when I was about 10 and those really didn't hurt at all I honestly couldn't tell you if they hurt or not because I don't remember because that was so long ago <laughs> Alright, so the rest of the piercings on my ears um, are kind of have a funny story to them. I kind of did them all myself or my friends did them. Um, my second and thirds on my ears, I have them on both sides. Um, I did myself with a sewing needle. I sterilized it with like a lighter and like tried to be all cool and I just really wanted piercings because everyone else in my school like it was like the cool thing to have seconds and thirds and like piercings all the way up your ears in like middle school believe it or not um yeah that's when that trend started god what the hell but yeah that was the trend so I really wanted them and I was on FaceTime with my friend at the time um and literally she was just like do it do it no balls you're not gonna do it do it Cindy do it so I literally every time she'd be like do it like fine and I would go get a sewing needle and I would literally pierce my ear I did that on several different occasions um so yeah, that hurt because I did it by myself legitimately just with a sewing needle, pushed through my ear, and just put like some random earring in. It probably could have gotten infected. I probably shouldn't have done that, but I did it anyways. So that's how I got my second and third piercings. A funny story about this third one though. Um, we were at a, at a uh, party drunk you know but um and my friend came up to me and I was talking about how badly I wanted my third spears and she literally came up to me with a dull ass earring I mean like the dullest of dull Claire's crap earrings and like it was like sitting and punched the freaking earring through my ear while I was talking to somebody and I was like what the hell did you just do she's like you wanted thirds I was helping you let me tell you this girl literally pierced it all the way up in the corner, busted as hell. My mom saw it and was like, you need to take that out. So that leads me into my belly button piercing. I made a deal with her and said, hey, if I take this ugly third piercing out, will you let me get my belly button pierced? She was like, sure, I'll let you get your belly button pierced. So I made a deal with my mom and I took the third earring out and I went and got my belly button pierced at my favorite place in the entire world. Shout out to Insomnia. Jeremy, you're the best. If you guys ever go to Insomnia, ask for Jeremy. He's amazing. But um, I went and got my belly button pierced and as soon as I got my belly button pierced, literally the same night, I went and put the earring back in, put like in a different spot. Because it was busted before I re-pierced it with a sewing needle. 
Um, Pain-wise for my belly button ring, it honestly, mm, I want to say it was like a four out of ten. Like honestly, it hurt a lot less than I thought it would. And if anyone knows me, I literally work myself up so much. Like so, I think it's gonna be so bad, and I freak out and I shake, and I'm like, oh my god, it's gonna be so bad. And then I pierce it, and I'm like, oh. That wasn't even close to what I thought in my head it was gonna be. In my head, I feel like I'm gonna get like my I'm gonna be in like the next Saw movie for real, get my arm chopped up or some shit. But it's honestly like a pinch, and it's not even that bad. So if you wanna get your belly button pierced, go for it. You'll be fine. Just wanted to add that my first piercings, I got pierced with the gun at Claire's, and I know, oh my god, you're not supposed to get it pierced with the gun. Your ear can collapse, blah 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 blah. But I got him pierced with the gun, and then I got my seconds and thirds with the sewing needle and the dull earring that my friend drunkenly punched through my ear and that leads me into my cartilage earrings which i totally forgot about i have this one that i actually got done with a gun which is really bad you're not supposed to pierce your cartilage with a gun because it could collapse your cartilage but i went to freaking claire's and got it done and then this one i actually did myself with what else other than a sewing needle and I found out that if you pierce your cartilage, I don't know if this is true or not, but I found out that possibly if you pierce your cartilage yourself and you like don't know where you're going, you can paralyze yourself. <laughs> like, oh my God, can you imagine like 13 year olds didn't piercing their cartilage and just like paralyzes herself with the freaking sewing needle. That's so bad and I'm so glad that did not happen, but I will not be doing any more piercings myself with sewing needles. All right, the next piercing I got is kind of a secret. Kind of a secret piercing but i got my um nipples pierced and um honestly that was my least painful piercing like no joke my least painful piercing was my nipple piercings it was super quick super fast they use a needle once again insomnia jeremy you're the best <laughs> non-spawns by the way i just fucking love insomnia they're really awesome i've gotten all my piercings from them basically all my piercings and they just do an awesome job but my nipple piercings were the least painful, and I remember I had gotten them after I went through like, uh, I think we were, my boyfriend and I at the time went through like a, a fight, like kind of breakup, it was like half breakup, half fight, and I was like, I'm gonna be a rebel, I'm gonna do something cool, I'm gonna get my nipples pierced, and I went and got them done, and now that I think about that, that day was kind of hectic. But that's another story for another day, but yeah, nipple piercings on a scale from one to 10 was like a two. All right, Ooh. I used to have my nose pierced on this side and I'm super, super bummed that I don't have it anymore and I was gonna wait to film this video because I'm definitely gonna go back and get it pierced again but I just really wanted to put this out there for you guys because you guys like really wanted to see it so I was like, all right, let's go. But I had my nose pierced for two years, I think, yeah, two, one and a half years and um, the way it closed up is I had I originally had a stud and I really wanted a hoop and I switched it to a hoop and I thought that the hoop was all the way through my nose like it was looped all the way through and closed off apparently it was only through the top layers of my skin and it wasn't through the bottom part so like the bottom going up so when I went to go switch it back to a stud for a job interview um, I went to go push the stud through and it literally stopped at like the top layers of my skin. So I literally just ripped it out, flicked it across my bathroom and just said fuck it and I didn't have a nose piercing anymore. But I really miss it. If you look back on my Instagram far enough, I'm sure you'll find pictures of it. I was rocking the hoop. I look hipster AF. Oh my god, I know so many of you guys are going to give me shit for saying hipster AF. I'm sorry. Whatever. Mm, get over it. Right. And last but not least for my piercings, I have my vagina. I'm just kidding. <laughs> I have my tongue pierced. Um, I got this done pretty recently, as you guys have seen in my piercing my tongue vlog and all about in the tongue piercing disaster, all about tongue piercing video. I got that done a, two. Was it two weeks ago? Two weeks ago. Yeah. No. Yes. No. Yes. Whatever, I got my tongue pierced very shortly ago and um, the initial piercing itself didn't hurt at all, honestly. It was the healing process. I'm not gonna explain this too much. I made a video about this, you guys know. Um, some of you guys said that I was lying though because my uh, cheek was twitching in the video when they were piercing it. I was like trying not to laugh in my 
face was like twitching, but y'all were like, oh my god, skeptical AF. It was painful. She's lying. I'm like, y'all, why would I lie to you guys for no reason? Like, I'm trying to be informative here and give you guys my honest opinion. Why would I lie? So yeah, it didn't hurt at all. It was like a three or four on a pain scale from one to ten. So if you guys want to get your tongue pierced, I say go for it. It's really easy to hide if you don't talk super obnoxiously like I do. And it's totally worth it. The healing process is a bitch, but it is totally worth it. If you want some more information on uh, my tongue piercing, shameless self promo here, check out my other two videos about my tongue piercings on my channel. It'll give you all the information you need to know about it. Alright, moving on to my tattoos. Um, I have... I had to count, oh my god. <laughs> I have four tattoos. Well, five if you count my prison tat, which I will explain in a little bit. But um, the first tattoo I got is um, I have birds behind my ear. And honestly, that was my least painful tattoo. The only thing is it gave me a really bad headache because of the buzzing in my ear. I get headaches really easily. So that noise was just like, oh my gosh, it made me have the worst migraine of my life. But the actual tattoo didn't hurt at all. I got that tattoo literally right on my 18th birthday. My mom texted me and was like, where are you? You're supposed to come home from school. And I was like, um, I'm at this uh, tattoo place in um, Atlanta. Came home and I was just like, happy birthday to me. My mom literally can't stop me when it comes to piercings and tattoos. I just go and do it and I show her and she's like, okay. Um, the next tattoo I got is I have a crescent moon on my wrist. <laughs> And um, that tattoo has um, kind of a really, really deep meaning to me. Um, it was with me and my now ex-boyfriend. Oh my God, I know y'all are gonna give me so much shit, but I got the moon and my ex-boyfriend got the sun. And you know, it's, <laughs> it's a long story. There's a lot that goes to it, but basically I got this tattoo with my now ex-boyfriend and it has a really deep meaning and it still kind of does, but you know, Again, that's another gigantic freaking story for another month because that's going to take a lot to explain. But if you guys are curious, I mean, let me know in the comments. I'll talk about it, but yeah. <laughs> and then the other piercing you will notice is right next to it. It is a teeny tiny little cross. Yeah, that's a funny story. Um, I was hanging out with um, some friends one night getting into it all sorts of trouble because when I was 16 I was literally a freaking heathen but we decided that we wanted to give ourselves tattoos and my friend was like oh my god yeah let's go get exacto blades in ink and let's just cut the designs into our skin and put ink in it yeah that sounds like a really really good idea so first off we tried to cut a design into my friend's ankle which was supposed to be a maple leaf and it ended up just being a freaking I think it was like an acute angle because we could not finish the tattoo he was freaking out so then my friend and I were like well we want one let's do it you guys are literally gonna think I'm a freaking psychopath I think I'm a freaking psychopath for doing this anyone that I explain this to thinks I'm a freaking psychopath for doing this I literally cut the little design into my wrist with an exacto blade and put some ink in it and now I have a permanent ugly blob that's supposed to be a cross on my wrist and I call it my prison tag because that's what it looks like. Yeah. Probably going to get a cover up for that one. Okay. My third tattoo and my favorite tattoo, my favorite, 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 favorite tattoo ever is my side tattoo. I have a tattoo that goes all the way down my side and underneath my boob a little bit. Um, insert clip somewhere around here. <laughs> um, but I got this tattoo kind of on a whim but kind of not on a whim i have been talking about the idea for literally two years plus talking about this same tattoo idea and i remember i was talking to my friend at the time and she was like why don't you just go get it you've been talking about this tattoo for freaking forever if you still want it to this point then just go get it and i was like yeah you're totally right so i went down to the tattoo place and we were supposed to just like sketch out a rough draft of the tattoo and then I was gonna come back with friends like the next week. I get there and the guy literally goes, I'm bored, do you wanna just do it now? I had, mind you, I had drove down there by myself, 
without my boyfriend, without my friends, and I ended up just saying fuck it and I got a tattoo and I literally like hit it in my shirt and then when my boyfriend came over I was just like, ta-da! And he totally freaked out. He was like, when did you get this tattoo? What the heck? Like, literally got that tattoo by myself and I felt like such a badass and it was like right after, um, a breakup, not like right after, um, but like after a really bre a breakup that of a boyfriend I was dating for like three years, so it was kind of my, um, I don't know, you know you do drastic things after a breakup, I mean I dyed my freaking hair red, but <laughs> I got the tattoo and um, it says Amate Ipsum, which means love yourself in Latin, that's in the stem, and then the flowers are baby's breath, which stands for eternal love, so you know, love yourself, eternal love, I kind of lost myself in that last relationship so I you know it was a tattoo about learning to love yourself I had to pick myself back up pick the pieces up and love myself again so that's why that tattoo really really means a lot to me and that's my favorite tattoo that I have this far and my last tattoo that I have so far because I am planning on getting a few more um, I have a mountain range on my left hip and I got that on my 20th birthday and um, that one was really cool, and that one kind of has a deep meaning too. That, believe it or not, was my most painful tattoo. Like, you would think that my my, my rib tattoo and underneath my boob would be more painful. No, my hip tattoo hurt so bad, like so bad. Um, I guess, I don't know. I have like a scar tissue on my hip, but literally that tattoo hurts so bad. But I love it, it's like this little tiny mountain range. And basically the meaning behind that one is that, um, you know, you have to just to overcome obstacles in your life. It's kind of like an uphill battle. You have to climb a mountain. I know it's so fucking cliche, but I like it. Um, so yeah, that's all the tattoos that I have thus far because I'm totally going to get some more. I have a thing um, about tattoos too. Um, they can only be on the left side of my body. Which is really strange, but it's kind of like this thing I have. It's like a yin and yang kind of balance thing. One side's kind of pure, one side's kind of tatted. I think that's kind of cool. It's kind of like my thing. Which sucks because I want a middle back tattoo, but like I want to keep the yin yang thing going. So that's kind of my thing. That is all I have for you guys today. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, it's all about my tattoos and piercings. I'm sure I'll do an updated uh, video soon because I'm probably going to get more tattoos and more piercings to come because I'm all about body modification. I think it's awesome. Um, if you guys have any questions, leave it below in the comments. If you love this video, please, please, please give it a big thumbs up. That would mean the world to me. Leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of video you'd like to see from me next. I would love to know. While you're at it, please click that subscribe button to join the Good Vibes Tribe. Let's make this family even bigger than it already is. And on that note, Good vibes, tribe.